News 4 at 6 begins with breaking news. Chopper 4 live looking down on breaking news. Riders here at Six Flags stuck, some of them upside down. We're hearing as many as two dozen on this ride, inside this ride. We don't have a lot of details right now, but we are making some calls from our newsroom to Prince George's County Fire. Our Megan Fitzgerald is on the way. The name of this ride, by the way, is called the Joker's Jinx. Again, these riders up 100 feet in the air. We don't know how long they've been stuck up there, but we understand they're not only stuck, but stuck upside down. Uh, the Joker's Jinx is located on the backside of the park uh, in the, uh, the Gotham area of the park. And uh, we understand that there were lots of people in the park. It's spring break, so we imagine there were lots of visitors, lots of students who were out of school. Again, these are uh, live chopper pictures, breaking news right now. This park uh, located in Largo, Maryland. So when we talk about this ride, uh, it goes from zero to 60 miles an hour in just over three seconds. A lot of twists and turns. If we can zoom in as our is right now you see people they look as though these people are right side up but at an angle there almost at a tilted angle um, again we're hearing as many as two dozen are on this ride stuck some as high as 100 feet in the air we mentioned this is live from Largo at the Six Flags America there as we pull out again Pat mentioned we are in the middle of spring break for a lot of colleges high schools too um, so you can imagine it was probably on this gorgeous day, pretty busy at the park at this time. But this is, look how, look how many rungs below and twists below this. This is almost at the very top of this ride. And, stuck. and, and this, this ride, we believe, has been troubled before. Uh, I think it was in summer of last year that there was a problem with this roller coaster. Um, we believe it was stuck at that time. Uh, no word of any injuries uh, at this point. Don't believe there were in any injuries at that point. But uh, uh, this is a roller coaster, a live picture of it, the Joker's Jinx, uh, stuck there at the, uh, the top of the ride uh, with some of these uh, passengers, roughly two dozen, uh, on board, 100 feet in the air. They seem rather calm, mm -hmm. uh, but this has got to be a very uh, unsettling time for them. Well, they wanted a thrill, but nothing like this. Again, uh, Prince George's County Fire Rescue on the on the way in route, if not already there on the ground. These are live pictures again over Largo with Six Flags. You know, we downloaded a, a page. Um, their website says that the Joker's drink, Jinx will, without any pauses, you're going to blast through a cobra roll, a sidewinder loop, a corkscrew, and countless swift reversals in between. So that's their, um, that's the way they're selling it. Again, zero to 60 miles an hour in just over three seconds. This, again, is the Joker's Jinx, and we have perhaps had or at least one issue with this particular ride before. We're yes. trying to get more information on. We remember when that happened, but it's been a while. Uh, the News 4's Megan Fitzgerald is en route to the scene right now, and uh, we are over the scene. The pictures you are seeing are from uh, Chopper 4 Live pictures of this uh, of this ride. It's a, it's a spaghetti bowl design, um, and uh, generally one of the, the big features uh, in this park. Uh, very popular with, with the kids and uh, with adults as well, people who like roller coasters, but uh, of course no one wants to be stuck at the top of one of them. Again, live pictures from Largo, Maryland, where the Joker's Jinx, this uh, roller coaster, is now stuck in the air. So we just did a little digging, and it was August of 2014 where the latest incident on this particular ride happened again in this vicinity on this big ride here. A similar situation, they were stuck in that position too back again August of 2014. And we can remember people being rescued from that ride. People waving. I see a smile on someone's face. 
Um, it'll be interesting. You know, everybody's got cell phones on them, you can imagine. So they are hopefully able to communicate with people below who may be concerned or worried right now. But we saw some passengers riding there, and they look like they're tilted down, but also to the side as it winds down a little bit. We're hearing as many as two dozen people may have been on this ride and, and stuck in midair about 100 feet up. So uh, the, uh, the last incident that Jim just mentioned uh, happened in 2014. 14, two dozen people were rescued from a roller coaster that got stuck uh, at Six Flags after uh, it spent more than s four hours up there, as high as 79 feet in the air at that time. Prince George's County Fire and Rescue crews had to use, at the time, a high-angle rescue uh, to get those people down.